It's a story of two strangers united by the pursuit for a better life. And for this couple of different backgrounds, diversity has turned into a story of love. <laughs> After it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. we meet. Both Consuelo and Kishore Kumar laugh, remembering how it all started. Never. I never crossed in my mind even once I'm going to be married with different culture. But now their home tells a different story. When I told my family, she's from Guatemala, they start looking in the map, what's Guatemala? It's, it's there somewhere, you know. <laughs> Where are they turning maybe all the map? Kishore's family was already looking for a wife for him, but life had other plans. The teacher told, okay, you sit with her. That's the first time. A twist to the tale of high school sweethearts. Consuelo and Kishore went from being classmates at an English school for adults in the San Fernando Valley to building a life over 30 years, raising their children in Kern County. And instead of just learning English, they each learned each other's home language as well. His language? <laughs> she learned some, some language. I, I speak Spanish too. Uh, not much, but yeah, I speak. Despite the differences, they realized they had much more in common. I think that's the reason we come like connection or something because uh, I came alone and he was alone too. He know has family. I know have family. Both knowing how lonely the American dream could be, they helped each other achieve it, and they've also helped keep each other's cultures alive in the process. From their foods. Banana macho, they call. This dish of my country, Guatemala. The pronta is a, the very popular dish in India. That every morning, like a breakfast, they make tea and pronta. They both shared a love for spicy food, but he had never had much seafood, which is typical in her hometown. I show him like that shrimp, and then he said, like, what's that? What animal is that? It's called shrimp. And say, uh -huh. eat it. No, I'm not going to eat that. Expanding their language, palate, and understanding their different faiths. Even sharing their prayer area, half for his Hindu faith and half for Catholicism. He prays on his way and I pray mine, so it's okay. Like. <laughs> and now they share both of their cultures with their children and grandchildren, passing on their traditions to the next generation. In Bakersfield, Juan Patino, 23 ABC News, connecting you.